everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameMassage.com with a little movie review today. This is what we're going to do today of the film called Storm Boy. Please, if you're new to the channel, push the uh, subscribe button, that'd be great, and make sure you put the notifications on and set them to public, otherwise you won't get the notifications. It's amazing how many people just put a notification on, but their, uh, their uh, settings aren't set to public, so they, get to, they wonder why they're not getting notifications. Anyway, yeah, Storm Boy. Uh, this is out to buy on the 20th of July 2020 in the UK and online, so uh, please check your territory wherever you are. Uh, cheapest chip, £7 on DVD here in the UK, so that's uh, not much more than what you pay to rent the things, is it, if you want to own this Storm Boy. 99 minutes. It's an Australian drama based on the novella, and obviously we have had a 1976 version of this film, haven't we, which uh, I didn't know about, which I may go back and watch now, having watched this one. But yeah, it's based on the novella of the same name by Colin Thiel. Thiel, if you pronounce it like that. <clears throat> about uh, a retired businessman who um, obviously relives his youth through his uh, granddaughter. And as in his youth, he, had, he, he took on some orphan pelicans, as you would do. I mean, that's just normal, isn't it, in Australia? I mean, over, over in Britain, we take on otters and various things, you know, and uh, try and, I mean, I remember... Uh, having a hamster whose, whose mother died in childbirth and uh, they, they lasted a couple of nights I was trying to feed him with a little drip with milk and stuff but uh, it didn't last very long but hey, hey I would have, wouldn't have minded pelicans they're quite, quite vicious things aren't they or they look vicious anyway they'll give you a nasty bite won't they so yeah it's, it's, uh, it's directed by Sean C and stars Geoffrey Rush, Jal Courtney Finn Little and Trevor Jamieson, and it's actually shot along the Coorong in Australia and in Adelaide, South Australia. So, because as you get as you get with a lot of these Aussie dramas and action films, some great scenery in, in, involved as well, which is always nice to look at, isn't it? So yeah, uh, so we've had other things, haven't we? We've had um, we've had sheep dogs, haven't we? That uh, obviously befriended and upset. We've had kangaroos from Australia, haven't we? Called Skippy, who could do wonderful things. But now we've got. Uh, Percival the Pelican. So there you go. This is this is what you've got now. So yeah, Rotten Tomatoes is it any good? Sixty nine percent positivity. That's not bad. Sixty nine percent with twenty seven giving it a fresh review and just twelve rotten reviews. So obviously two thirds of it, obviously more, is like the film. Overall six point one six out of ten. Uh, the Rotten Tomatoes audience rating is is seventy two percent. That's quite high. That's very good. Um, the consensus. Can't quite live up to the original. Can't quite live up to the original story, but contains enough of its classic source material's heart to remain worth a watch. So yeah, I mean, obviously, as I mentioned, the nineteen seventy six version, the book, obviously, obviously, all these adaptations are usually open for criticism because they're never as good. It's never as good as a book. If you like reading the books, always you can leave so much to your imagination, create things in your mind, and sometimes the films don't live up to that, do they? So yeah, I mean, so they ask can. It, Comparing it also to the 76 film, which a couple of the users did as well, saying it was far better. So as I said, I might go out and watch that, but uh, it's certainly, you know, I'm not giving too much away by saying this certainly isn't a disappointment anyway. Uh, Internet Movie Database rating. Joe Public, you and me, 2000, as at the time I'm doing this, 2,428 reviews, 6.9 out of 10, so that's a nice healthy score. Metascore, the critics, 67% positivity rating, so very similar. So you're getting all 60, you're getting 69%, 70%, 69%, 67%, so you're getting a good score, aren't you? So I think I think it's uh, quite clear that it's not, it's not a dud, this film, anyway. Uh, the meta score rate ratings are anywhere between four out of ten, which is a bit mean, and nine out of ten, which is probably a bit high. Uh, some of the comments are didactic rather than moving. In other words, that that means I have to, I have to look at the, these words up that some of these critics come out with, and obviously that's like a preachy teaching thing in a in a roundabout way. I'll talk about that in a minute. Winning performances lift it. Yeah, I mean there's some good performances in it. I mean, but it's. it's doesn't really need lifting it is what it is it is what it says on the box really a young boy bringing up pelicans uh sweet and moving a visual splendor yeah we've always mentioned that over south australia some great some great visuals um scenery can't be beat again on the same present on the same idea um user the user rating is 6.9 out of 10 so again we're up there aren't we near the sevens which is a good score it's positives beautiful a film for everyone moving 
Um, not as good as the 76 version, but, so obviously there's another one. A terrific adaptation, amazing film of conscience and substance. Wow. Uh, and some of the negatives, well, there's only one real negative I found. I, I was searching through and there's, we were, there weren't many negatives, to be honest with you. But the negative fails to capture the spirit of the original. So, having never watched the original, I just watched this and enjoyed it for what it was. So, on to my little movie game nostalgia. Didactic rather than moving. I mean, there's some environmental issues uh, discussed in this, but it isn't preachy in any way sort of thing. I mean, I, I don't really know what that critic's getting at with that. The visual splendour, obviously, in the scenery can't be beat. Yeah, I mean, we're safe with that, aren't we? Um, and I like these sort of Aussie things. I mean, I think it's set, uh, I'm trying to, trying to age when it goes back in time. Obviously, he's, he's Geoffrey Rush as the elder man. He's looking back at his life when he found the Pelicans. So... Um, it's probably going back 50, 60 years, so it's probably, although it looks, Australia looks a bit 50s-ish, so it doesn't, wouldn't really work, it'd have to be 70s-ish, but perhaps Australia's a little bit behind, I'm not sure my apologies if you're in Australia listening to this, but perhaps we're a little bit behind with, with the clothing and uh, the, the state, so it, I sort of, but I did enjoy it anyway, whatever, it, whatever year it was set in, I do enjoy looking at the old sort of style, old style Aussie town, if you like, the that um, was shown in the film and obviously the scenery. I do, I do enjoy that anyway and that's they, are, they do appeal to me, these Aussie films. I watched quite a few recently. Uh, yeah, so one of my favourites as a kid, I've mentioned it before, was Skippy the Kangaroo. So, I mean, I think there's room in there for Percy the, Peng uh, Percy the Penguin. Per <laughs> Percival the Pelican. I don't know, penguin. Is the penguins in Australia? I don't know what I thought so. Well, there you go. Not unless it's on a, uh, an animation, that's for sure. So, I didn't feel it was teachy or, or preacherish anyway. I don't, I don't think that's a flaw with it. I think uh, the closest comparison I think to this was perhaps Fly Away From Home was a... Was a uh, in the 90s, wasn't it? 90s, early 2000s. Uh, I think that was a quite a, a close feel to this one. It is a nice film, possibly a little bit slow for younger children, but it is a nice family film, and it's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's, it's teaches you, teaches you. It's nice, and it, it, it obviously upsetting in parts as you'd expect from this sort of drama. It's, it upsets you, but it also it also lifts you as well. So, uh, yeah, movie game nostalgia rating. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, which is, is pretty high for me. I, I, I liked it, and I certainly won't put you off watching it with your family. As I said, younger kids will get a little bit bored with it, to be honest with you. Uh, certainly the first 10 or 15 minutes, uh, and little elements in it is uh, young. It's not really for young kids, but obviously the rest of it with the bringing the pelicans up, etc., is, uh, is quite funny, and strolling through town with pelicans in tow, things like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Before we go, just a quick look at the poster. It's a lot. I like the poster, but I'm going to give the poster a score as well. I, li I like that poster there. With, uh, so I'll give it the same score as the uh, as the film. I'll give it a seven out of ten. So it's a draw on the poster versus the movie. You both get seven out of ten. Anyway, please check out all my links uh, on screen. And if you're more into Facebook than Twitter, please uh, follow me on Facebook. Uh, just search for Bernard and I follow everyone back on there when I get followers. So. Uh, if you want to do that, you'd rather that than Twitter. And please, if you can have a look at moviegamenostalgia.com, my little website for old rare DVDs, movie posters from the 90s and 2000s and board games, that would be absolutely fantastic. And even if you don't buy anything, even if you have a quick stroll around and follow the links, that will help my Google Analytics and get me up the ladder on, uh, obviously up the Google ladder, which uh, is hard work, isn't it, for little firm, little guys like me anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're going to do the rest, have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family. And more importantly, let's all look after each other. And you can hear in the background someone's mowing the lawn. My apologies, I usually shut the window, but it's quite warm, warm today. Anyway, I hope it's not uh, distracted you too much. Anyway, thanks for watching. And please join me again for another review or information vlog in the very near future. It's Bird saying goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.